They said just now that Brandy's my mother and to enforce that she's my mother, the social worker here, the, she's my government mother. Um, they need me to be unconscious. Um, and that's the truth. And they need me to come back through as a lesson, as a, a lesson that she's my mother, whatever. Because I'm like, I got to get it. I got to cry out for somebody for help. But they need me to somehow have a, a oxygen stop traveling to my brain. I don't know how they want to go about it. But it's, it's, it's hurt them. They said it's required now. That's in order they can regain control. I am already injured. I already coughed up the blood, vomited up the blood. I mean, I got edema of the legs. I'm very badly injured. And the, the last thing they need is for me to lose consciousness. For how long? I don't know. Like how important that is just for Brandy to be my mother. And that's how they store um, your government mother in your uh, psyche by Jewish programming. And they may do it a third and fourth time until you know you get the you get the picture. That's why they count on you being knocked unconscious, whether howled all and having you wake up to them and shit. That's what he's doing. The doctor here today when I was asleep, Jeffrey, they do it every day. Try to learn how to wake up to my mother and father. You get it? And listen to them, basically. And it's causing me a problem where I'm actually getting sick out of my sleep. I want to throw up sometimes. And they force me to say, Daddy, my, my stomach hurts. The doctors, you get it? This is not my house. That's what I was trying to say before. They took me out of my house just to play out this a scenario of the doctors. They basically are abusing me. I told Dr. Kimball that of <laughs> Queen said something's wrong. They actually look living. Using they started out as Catholic charities. It's like you get it? And they're trying to replicate my father's house. You understand it? That's what happened today. I was asleep today. They wake me up and I actually want to vomit. It's like I work for them. Cause I gotta to answer to doctors. Like I actually like Yo, come on, I want to sleep. Doesn't make a difference. They put me in a position where they're forcing me to work for their law firm. There's time to, come on. I'm like, come on, man. I don't even want to be here. Look at this shit. And I actually start, until the blood builds up in my stomach, until we have the same problem again. But part of it is, when they put me through that procedure, I'm going to start, Brandy's my mother. They keep me still, they keep using punishment. Doesn't make whether I lose consciousness. Last time I almost lost, lost consciousness when Bless them did all that shit with the painkillers, you know, and they put me in an emergency. But that's the whole point to replicate that experience. Brandy becomes stronger like my mother. And it means I, 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 I don't have no control of myself. My, and I do have lack of mental capacity. You get it? That keeps me jammed up with these people by the medical process of law, of abuse. They won't let me out of it until I accept Brandy's my mother and a white woman. This is some real Star Trek shit. And they won't let me out of it until I get the fucking point through my hard head. Brandy and Emily are supposed to be my, my parents. And the doctors come here every day. Say, with the stethoscope, do you, do you want, do you, seriously, wake me up out of my sleep. They took me out of Hollywood, but they converted Hollywood to make sure I go with this performance that Brandy's my mother. She sits in that office out front every day behind Jason. You understand? And Lauren and them.